uh, with Mississippi State uh, spotters uh, actually seeing a large tornado on the ground, you want to take this thing very seriously. And that is a, a really great shot of the uh, Clinton tornado. That was uh, taken uh, via a, an employee of Fred's uh, there in Clinton, and that was distributed to some of his co-workers here in Birmingham, and they got that to us. But that is a tremendous uh, velocity couplet sitting right over uh, Scuba, Mississippi. And again, a lot of the storm spotters are on that. Now, we've got uh, uh, John Brown and Mike Wilhelm and Ashley Brand. They're all out in the field today, and we'll be watching their live streams, and uh, uh, they will be putting themselves in a position to catch a lot of these storms. And of course, uh, the deal is, is the fact that they uh, are in safe positions. Uh, we don't advise anybody to go out trying to track these storms down unless you've had training and know what you're doing because you, you get into trouble in a heartbeat. Uh, we've got our uh, sky watchers, Mike Wilhelm and John Brown, on a storm that's uh, crossing near the Perry Dallas County line right now. So, uh, all kinds of eyeballs out there in the field watching these. And I've been monitoring a couple of Twitter feeds from folks I know over at Mississippi State, and uh, they, they are probably just a little bit too busy chasing this, trying to be safe to put any information out. Uh, I do know that uh, Greg Nordstrom, uh, he, he and I have a relationship that goes a long way back. If he reports a tornado's down, I know that it's down. So I'm looking for anything that he's saying. Uh, any, anything that comes out of that team over there, we pretty well know what's going on. And they are able to chase that back into Sumter County because of the way the highways work there. They'll come over to northern Sumter County behind it from a safe distance. And uh, I know we'll get some reports from them very soon. And she is going down I-5920 right now to try to get in a safe place to watch this storm pass by her to her north. There's her stream right that's now. That's actually John Brown's stream. Oh, that's John Brown's stream. We, you know, we got it looks similar. <laughs> it, it's very similar. Uh, we, we got multiple uh, uh, folks out uh, in the field today, and uh, John is, uh, looks like from his uh, camera, he's probably on U.S. Highway 80 uh, down in the uh, Black Belt, headed back into that uh, direction. And uh, I just saw a report that came in. The Mississippi State Storm Chasers estimate a one-half mile wide tornado moving over north Scuba. See, Alan Gerard. Alan is the uh, meteorologist in charge of the National Weather Service in Jackson. He's pacing, uh, passing on what Jack, uh, Jason just passed on. The uh, Mississippi State Chase Team reports a three-quarter mile wide tornado over northeast Kemper County, Mississippi, moving east. The estimated inflow winds, not the tornadic winds, but the inflow winds, were 80 miles per hour. Uh, so that is the large and dangerous tornado that is here. And I'm talking directly with Mike Brown okay. right now right. on instant message. And, yeah, and he's uh, he's He's, uh, he, he let me know. In the field? Is he, is no, I, I believe he is. He, he usually runs the climate lab and and coordinates these things. Uh, I, I can't uh, I can't tell for sure if that's what he's doing right now, but I'm pretty sure that that's uh, what's going on. He's probably in the lab coordinating the chase team. And Greg Nordstrom, who is uh, on staff there at State, is the head of that particular team. He's got some students out there looking at it. Uh, the uh, Mississippi State uh, team is on that storm, and they have reported a tornado. There are actually is... two teams on it. Okay, uh, two teams. One headed up by Greg, the other by Rennie Vanderwedge. And they're both good guys. Yeah. Let's go to the, the stream. Uh, let's go to uh, our live stream. Uh, this is coming from John Brown, and it looks like John has probably made a right-hand turn uh, up uh, off of U.S. Highway 80, and I think John is going north maybe to intercept perhaps the, Marion, the, the Perry County storm. We'll, we'll see if Jason get a specific location on these guys. And again, Ashley Brand is also out in Storm Chaser 3340, and and uh, she is going to be intercepting that uh, storm that is uh, uh, coming up toward Tuscaloosa. If you are uh, watching this and would like to make storm reports via social media, uh, if you do that on Twitter, just drop in the tag uh, ALWX. We've been using that for years, and that's the standard tag. Everybody sees that, and uh, that would be very helpful. We've got our Skywatcher team in place. Uh, many of them are in the field. Uh, John Brown and Mike Wilhelm are out to, uh, on these storms today. And Jason, you might check to see where John is exactly. We'll, he's, on, he's on Highway 5 headed up into Marion okay. to try to catch that storm. Okay, so he's going to try and catch the second storm on the back side of that, and it is possible, in fact, we know something like that was down about 15 minutes ago, back when our two teams from Mississippi State were on that storm, and, and uh, again, uh, John Brown and uh, Mike Wilhelm are, are on this storm, and it looks like at the moment they've run out of data. Uh, data is pretty sparse down and through here, good uh, cellular data. As soon as we get their signal back, we'll, we'll take a look at their live stream. Let's take the internet computer 
this was the tornado okay. in northeastern Kemper County, Mississippi. Goodness gracious, are you kidding me? I have never seen anything like that in Mississippi this or Alabama. This is not Oklahoma. This is no. not Kansas. This is that's deep from south. That's from Rennie Vandewedge, his team. Uh, he is the broadcast meteorology instructor. He deals with all the all uh, get, be, helping students be able to to learn how to use the weather wall and, and and to learn how to use their meteorology on the air appropriately. And he also is an excellent storm chaser. And he and Greg Nordstrom had two teams out on that. So thanks to Rennie Vandewedge and uh, Mike Brown over at Mississippi State for sending us that pick. Large, violent tornado has uh, taken a picture from uh, Rennie Vandewedge from Mississippi State University. And uh, they were chasing that storm through Kemper County. And now it's in Sumter and Green, really moving out of Sumter. And again, t tell me exactly where was this now? This was, uh, this was, this was at, as the tornado crossed the state line uh, from Evan Thomas. And this again from uh, Dr. Mike Brown, Mississippi State. He's forwarding the information to us. Uh, Evan Thomas took this photo, and that is a huge tornado. Yeah. Some of the communities that are in this polygon will include Ralph, Jenna, Union, Moundville. It includes uh, Havana Junction. Let's go to Terry Sasser's live stream. Terry Sasser's on Highway 11 near Utah under that storm that we were watching develop right over town. Hey, let's go to the live stream. He, he, said, he, said, it's up. he said he has uh, definite rotation there. Uh, doesn't see anything that's down on the ground. I'm going to, while we're looking at that, I'm going to. Trees. Yeah. In West Alabama, it starts to flatten out, but we have something definite there on radar. And Terry said, I mean, you can see the inflow. Look at the way the trees are blowing. Uh, Terry says he's got some rotation there. Terry's a pretty good sky watcher. And they, you know, Okay, there you go. Yeah. Now that's, we're starting to see what you want to that's what yeah. you want to see right there. Now again, we've got multiple circulations and we're going to work all of these today. But again, uh, that's Terry Sasser who is uh, in Greene County and we're looking at rotation that is uh, a little north of town and we're going to watch those uh, cloud bases. And uh, this is Terry Sasser and uh, Terry, it looks like he's on the interstate right now on Interstate 5920 and a heavy rain core. He's coming back up on the south edge of this rotation. And obviously, in a situation like this, you're not going to see a whole lot. Uh, again, Terry is coming up from the southwest where heavy rain is falling. That rotation that's prompted this new warning is near the point where Tuscaloosa, Green, and Hale counties all come together. And uh, Ash Ashley, we have a, a sky watcher, David Moore, who is just south uh, southeast of you, and, and he's a little south of Moundville. He says he sees a wall cloud uh, moving to the north and uh, there with strong rotation. And that's the one that's just in the edge of Tuscaloosa County. It, it, it's going to be very close to the Moundville City limits. Watch, watch for power flashes right in through here. Uh, okay, you saw one right there? Okay, that is a large tornado that is down in Tuscaloosa. This is an extremely dangerous tornado. You can see it's almost pitch black in the city. Uh, everybody uh, from Tuscaloosa South needs to be in shelter right now. Back to the right. Okay, that's lightning. That's not a power flash. In, uh, Tuscaloosa the Police Department just reported a tornado on the ground at Skyland and McFarland and says it is big and it just crossed 82. Mike Wilhelm just confirming it's crossing Highway 82 right now. If you're in East Tuscaloosa, uh, if, if you remember that December 16, 2000 path, this is very, very close to it. You need to be in a safe place right now. Don't take anything with you except yourself, your children, and uh, and get down there because this is an extremely dangerous situation this in Tuscaloosa County. This is a tornado emergency for the city of Tuscaloosa. Uh, if you are anywhere within the city limits, if you're on the campus of the University of Alabama, be in a safe place right now. Don't wait. I'll computer in that window very quickly so that uh, we can, here's a picture that comes in from, let me get the name correct from David Boss. He sent it to pictures at abc3340.com. Uh, that is the tornado as it passed uh, north of Taylorville or south of Tuscaloosa. I just got a note from Mike Brown, Dr. Mike Brown at Mississippi State, uh, 358. So just a minute ago, he said at the Highway 80 mile marker 3, a wedge tornado with extensive damage path, Highway 80 is not passable. That was two minutes ago in mm -hmm. Sumter County, of Bibb County, and we're not hearing any reports of damage. Our sky watcher, John Talbot, is listening to the scanners out of there. Uh, he says, so far, traffic is quiet. Uh, John Brown is on Highway 5 near West Blockton. So we can, uh, if we can pull up his stream. And, we'll, we'll pull up John's here in just a second. We can get a look at what he's doing. One, one of our sky watchers who's excellent with this, uh, uh, John Talbot, with monitoring the uh, traffic, he reports that the traffic on the scanner is very quiet in Bibb County. The, the greatest concern is what's happening now. And again, we have a... Mike Wilhelm is reporting a about a 200-yard path of trees pointing in different directions at Highway 5, three mile, or yeah, Highway 5 in Bibb County, three miles west of West Blockton.
okay. excuse me, south of West Blockton. That would be numerous trees down on Highway 5 in Bibb County, three miles south of West Blockton, about 200 yards wide. Okay. And again, uh, uh, I think that uh, John's stream is up. Let's go to the uh, live stream if we can do that again. Uh, this is coming from John Brown and Mike Wilhelm. This is at the scene of where an apparent tornado has crossed uh, Alabama Highway 5. This is in uh, Bibb County. And uh, again, I don't know if the road is completely blocked, but uh, I want to stress this is what is coming to into Shelby County right now. So the extent of the damage, we don't know. The, the good news, that this tornado apparently split the difference. It went south of West Blockton and north of Brent in uh, Bibb County. But again, you can see many emergency vehicles with their uh, flashers on as they're trying to assess the damage. And hopefully it's mainly timber damage. But uh, we don't know that at this point. But obviously uh, Highway 5 is uh, a mess there. Uh, north of Brent and south of West Blockton. So that is a, a live stream coming from John Brown. Uh, let's go to our live stream. It looks like the... Um no, we can get that on radar for a moment. That's the live stream, and this is coming from John Brown. Earlier we saw John, he's on Highway 5, and it looks like John is going to try and make an effort to uh, intercept this uh, storm that is passing through West Blockton. Uh, earlier we saw quite a bit of uh, tree damage on his stream. got a message from uh, Dave First, who's one of my neighbors in Alabaster. He says that there's a wall cloud, but no tornado on the ground. So uh, and that's in the Scottsdale subdivision. Looking back up across Publix, he says there's a clear wall cloud, but no tornado that he can see. But there's a tree-lined area there. Uh, uh, so it's, um, it, it'd be tough to see the base of it. He said he's obvious, a wall cloud, but I can't see anything on the ground. With Live stream. Ashley Brand is in uh, Tuscaloosa, and uh, that's what they're dealing with there. This is what, from a tornado that came through the southern part of Tuscaloosa. And John Brown is down in that area with his live stream. We'll check that out in just a minute. It was uh, tighter than the lug nuts on Dave Baird's pickup truck. As always, uh, the viewers today have been just absolutely fantastic. Gorgeous shot there. Look at the storm structure of that thing. Uh, uh, the spotter teams from Mississippi State took some amazing uh, images of these storms as they were crossing into Alabama.